We're by the uh, office buildings and the embassy suites. Uh, Business and Development Services is currently located in the core of the City Hall across from Goodwill on 198. But over this weekend, we'll be moving our locations. Uh, you can access our website and learn a little bit about uh, us. We have co-located fire uh, permit and inspection, building permit inspection, public works permit and inspection, um, planning and economic development in that facility. Uh, so we've gone to a one-stop shop. Uh, Paul implemented over-the-counter permits and also that one-stop shop approach. Uh, what we're now in the process of doing is basically culling how we do business, looking at our codes, how can we, you know, tweak them and make them better for the business community. So stay engaged on that. There's more to come. Uh, we want to uh, be more efficient. We want to be more transparent and more collaborative on how we do business and how we do permitting and inspection. Um, we want to, you know, fix what's broken and enhance what we're doing well. Uh, so that's just kind of an overview, a little sweetener. Uh, I want you to know that we take it seriously and uh, we will continue to advance and the next <coughs> year you'll see things come out. For example, we did a uh, online inspection uh, appointments. Now everything's online. You don't have to go through, you know, the uh, phone call that never gets answered. Uh, that's one major improvement. Uh, Jen Lee was responsible in working with community development and our tech department on bringing that forward. We're doing online permitting. We're moving in that direction. Uh, we want to make our uh, uh, systems more clean and understandable. Uh, so these are where we're going. So we need your engagement on that and be involved in that. Now, every project's different. Every owner has different motivations. Every business has different uh, motivations. Uh, we deal in a cold world where, you know, these are the requirements, you know. But it's how we work and interact with our customers, how we make that a better experience, and how we convey the information in a way that they really understand that we're not out to get them. We are basically charged with making the community safe. So how can we meet the business objectives while we make that more efficient and better experience for the business that is our customer? Okay, I've gone over my word count. But I just want to say that it's urgent and we take it seriously and there'll be more to come. So moving forward, regional partnerships. I talked a little bit about the partnership with the Chamber, but you can see all these organizations here that we work with on a daily basis. Uh, I won't go into all the deep detail here, but we're a regional participant in these. I will call out a couple that uh, have um, uh, of significance. One, of course, the Linwood Chamber. I think uh, was well stated that we suffered without having a chamber. Uh, we uh, may know, or you may remember, when the Economic Alliance was created a few years ago, uh, the local chamber connections kind of faded away. And through the perseverance of the business community and uh, really a lot of um, stay after it, uh, we are now getting to the point where we have a local chamber which can help us on those business related items. Uh, it isn't you can go to one organization like the Alliance and achieve what you want to do locally. You need that local presence. So again, uh, looking forward to working with Linda and the Chamber Board and Chamber Membership to make that happen. Uh, Edmond School District. Uh, Edmond School District is important because I don't know if you're aware, but basically the entire schools in Linwood have been rebuilt over the last uh, five to ten years. Uh, Spruce Elementary, Lindale Elementary, Linwood Elementary, Beverly Elementary, all of those things are either done or will happen. That is a community investment made by the residents of Linwood that voted those bonds. So we are going to have all new facilities, we're going to rotate that into in, in the new school system, and uh, with uh, Superintendent Duffy here uh, and a commitment to improving K-12 education, uh, that is important for community building and important for Linwood. Um, Edmonds Community College, same way. Uh, the set building is going to be built there. It's under construction this year. Uh, that is 70,000 square feet of science, technology, education, and math. The kids coming up, new ways of learning how to figure that pathway out is important. Uh, that's happening in Linwood. I mean, Linwood as a community is a regional model. Um, some of the things here on public safety that I mentioned, uh, we have been instrumental in 
uh, going to a regional approach on things like um, uh, emergency preparedness, uh, the 911 merger uh, that has just happened, uh, the regional fire authority, uh, the, the uh, Snohomish County Regional Drug Task Force. Uh, uh, public safety is our number one expenditure, above all. It is very um, robust. We have a very quality police fire courts um, uh, system. Uh, it is expensive. How do we do that more efficiently? And uh, Linwood's a bit of a regional model, and advancing that through our police departments and our fire departments to make that as efficient as possible. Uh, and some of the other things here, um, town transit, I'll talk about that in a bit, but uh, that's a major game changer for us on the regional uh, perspective. And then Verdon Health Commission, which is the uh, the New Stone Stevens, while well, they're in Linwood, and they have the Veterans Hero Cafe, which is a program connecting veterans, but it's far beyond that. What they do with us on health, what they do with us on community activities that build that wellness. Uh, so, you know, we're not couch potatoes. We're working with all these people, all these organizations, all the folks that comprise these organizations to really be a regional model, not so we can put that on our letterhead, but to be a regional model to improve the quality of life of everybody that works, lives, and owns a business here. So, Linwood. I don't know if you can really see this well, but this is our current uh, boundary of the city of Linwood. And uh, I want to call out uh, a couple of areas. This area here is the regional growth center for the city of Linwood. That is a designation that says of the development that happens, it's going to be funneled into this area. By development, I mean new jobs, uh, new residences. The reason for putting it over here is it's along the uh, I-5 and 405 corridors and related to transit. And that's important because if the development happens over here by the freeway, we can protect these single family neighborhoods. And that is a policy by the council that's decades long. We value our neighborhoods, we value, you know, those parks and schools and those types of areas. Um, the growth goes along the freeways and also along Highway 99. Thank you very much. Good, much better. Public, private, working together. Yeah. <laughs> um, municipal urban growth boundary, I did get a shout out that somebody wanted to learn a little bit about annexation. Uh, so this, God darn it. So this is the uh, boundary that uh, I had uh, pointed out before of the city of Linwood. And this is very hard to see, but up to 148th, over to North Road, and then back around on Archway to 212th. This is our annexation boundary. And I had a conversation today, a uh, gentleman named George here, about prior uh, efforts to annex. And uh, those are still areas that the city is obligated to take on. Uh, we were close in about 2007 to do this annexation. Why would we want to annex? Most of these people have Linwood annex uh, addresses and they think they live in Linwood. Uh, governance is improved, zoning is improved, police and department uh, public safety is improved. There's a bunch of mutual reasons why uh, this annexation area makes total sense. It comes with a cost. So we have to absorb service needs for all these areas. So uh, we are looking at how we can fit that into the next few years on how we can address uh, the possibility of annexation. Quite honestly, most of these people think they live in Linwood. I mean, a lot of people from, that apply for boards and commissions that really want to be involved in the community and participate on either a planning commission or another type of commission will submit their application and they'll be told that we're sorry, you really are not in the community, which really is not a good way to welcome people. Um, but we are kind of the creature of the post office and how they submit addresses, so that's why that happens. But I think in the long run, this is an area that we're going to annex. It would increase our population to about 85,000. It would also help our economic base. It would just have to be served. So how do we make that financial calculation work? So major projects. Uh, I'm going to first talk about the area of the regional growth center and the city center, which I mentioned. The city center is here. This has been zoned for 
highest possible density in the city of Linwood. You can go up on office buildings in the core to about 340 feet. Uh, the math on that translates to like a 30-story building. Um, where are we? Where are we in that economic cycle? Well, I don't think we're at 30-story buildings, but I think you're going to see density. Uh, and then this area is also served by transit. So this is the highest density uh, core area, but this whole area up to Costco and down to the transit center is envisioned to take on jobs and housing that I mentioned. Uh, so what are we currently doing? Uh, 196th Street improvement, this is from 36th over to 48th. So this is the boundary of this project. This is uh, at one level a uh, widening project. You can see down here in the graphic, 196 will be increased by two lanes and they will be business access lanes and they will also serve <coughs> bus rapid transit. We will then accommodate pedestrians uh, by having wider sidewalks with landscaped areas here. If you go down to the convention center, the new apartment building, you kind of see the early stages of this project. Um, but importantly, uh, we'll also have a landscape median. But importantly here, this starts next year and it's gonna be a significant project. Um, we have already contacted most, if not all, of the property owners. 